So, hi. <laughs> just like, oh, it's like 3 o'clock and I just made myself get up and get dressed and stuff. I, um, I don't know. I probably should shower, but I don't really want to. <laughs> Sounds so lazy. I, like, still have makeup under my eyes that I didn't take off. I don't even care. I'm just, like, trying to catch up on sleep and rest today. Put some makeup on here, too. Oh, my God. Um, when Justin gets home, the dogs are trying to bust the door down. When Justin gets home tonight, we're going to rip the carpets out and the carpet strips in there. And then I think I'm going to take Amber to the vet in the morning because she's, like, grinding her teeth. And I just want to make sure she's not, like, in pain or something. I'm kind of wondering if it's stress, but she needs to go in for her monthly lump check anyway. Um, her fat deposit, I make them check it every month. Um, and I'm going to take her in too because of the teeth grinding. Like her teeth, I brush her teeth like every day and they look fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with her teeth, but I read online they can do it if they're stressed out too. And Amber's very like, I, she's been... Like, she definitely has known I've been pregnant from the beginning, and she follows me everywhere. Like, I, it, it's like, it's just kind of gross, but like, ever since I got pregnant, after I go to the bathroom, she runs, like, after I pee, especially, she'll run into the bathroom when the door opens, and she'll, like, sniff, like, the toilet area. Like, she's checking my pee for something. I don't know. It's so weird. Um,. And then she runs out, and she's very, very protective of me. She's, like, nipped at Justin a few times, and we told her she couldn't do that. But, like, she's very, like, I think she's stressed out, like, because she's being such a worry wart over me. So I'm just going to talk to the vet about that and stuff tomorrow. But I need to go mail something at the post office, and then, uh, then I don't know. I know I have stuff to do today. I just don't remember what. I'll figure it out. I'm so freaking pissed off and kind of out of breath right now. I went, okay, I went to the post office or whatever, and I came back, and I was eating lunch, um, and the dog started going crazy. I've told a lot of you guys before, we don't just have a P.O. box for just YouTube. We have it because... People, and it's not just like, I don't think it's just like people that come in the neighborhood because it's kind of hard to get in our neighborhood because the gates are closed all the time. But it's also um, people, I think, that live here. There's some teenagers that are just like sketchy as shit. Um, and there's some people on the back street. There was something that happened on the back street. Someone broke into the house behind me. And it's crazy because I think it was one of the teenager's friends. Actually, it's like, I think he's like two, he's not even a teenager. Like, I, is a teenager like 19? Like, he was already on probation for something. I think they moved out finally, thank God. But like, it was his friends that did it. Like, they orchestrated it and broke into the house next door. So, it's like, I think they're gone now. Because I think they moved. I haven't seen him in a long time. But it's just like... I don't like having packages sent to the house or whatever, but the whole thing with Jackson's Mobile, Pottery Barn would not ship it to my P.O. box and because they go through UPS. And so what happens is the first one broke. They brought it. Like they, I get the email updates. I stay home the day. It's supposed to be delivered. I'm there when they get it. But unfortunately, with the pickup service, what Pottery Barn has had me doing is scratching everything out and they just have UPS come back and pick it up, and they put the correct label on it to ship it back. But for that, they're like, put it out between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. this this day, which I, I like absolutely hate doing. But I like if I leave, I might miss them, you know, whatever. So when I got home, I double checked to make sure the package was there. I started eating, and the dog started barking like crazy. And I was like, what are they barking at? Nobody ringing the door. But and when they bark, like, this is why I don't try to stop them from barking. Because of stuff like this, they can hear things we can't. Um, and they're barking for a reason. And so I go and I peep out the front window. And there's a guy on my porch. And he's, like, looking around like this. Then he looks down and is, like, looking at the package and stuff. And then he looks around again. And I could tell he was going to steal it. So, 
usually before I open the door, I'll back the dogs up into another room, but I didn't even do that. I just opened the door and they were like, rah, 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 you know, going crazy, especially Amber because she's so protective of me right now. And the guy like backed up and he, he like turned around and started walking really fast, like away from our house. So I grabbed the box, I put it inside, I locked the door and I went out the garage and he's walking back down the street. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing on my porch? Like I go after him. I'm like, and y'all are like, oh my God, you shouldn't do that. I can seal carry. I still have my weapon holstered on me. So I'm not really concerned. I'm just going to leave it at that. So um, I was like, what the fuck are you doing on my porch? Like, what are, what are you doing in this state? Because it's a private community. Basically, if you're not here as a guest to somebody, you're trespassing, and then police will arrest you right away. And he's like, oh, I was trying to find my friend's house. I think I was at the wrong house. And then I saw you and your dogs. I knew I was at the wrong house. I was like, you need to get the fuck out of our community because you're trespassing right now. I'm going to go call the police and they will arrest you for being here unless you have your friend here and they're present and they can say you were here for their house. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So he started walking faster towards like the street that you exit the community. And then I went and got my car and I made sure he left. We have like a community email and stuff, but like it's just useless to warn people about these things because I'm like, I love some of my neighbors and the rest of them are just complete idiots. And you you send something, you tell them something's going on and they're just like, oh, you know, it's just annoying. It's not worth it. I mean, he didn't actually do anything. I just know he was going to steal my package. There's no point in getting everyone worked up because he left. He was told he was trespassing and he left, you know. So I didn't post anything. I told Justin, I'm like, I'm not going to tell those neighbors because one, they never tell us when anything's going on. And like two, they make this huge deal about it. And then somehow I end up like in the middle of this shit. Like when the thing happened behind me, then I be like, I, you know, called the police. The people saw me. Then I became a target because come to find out the person next door's kids, teenagers did it. And they've been back in the neighborhood since then. So I don't like, I, it sounds terrible, but I just look out for myself now. Like our neighbors don't look out for us. So I'm just like, whatever. Um, but it just made me so pissed off. That's the big drama of the day. It was just like, I was so, I don't have hormones, but I was so fucking mad to be like, you're about to steal. I cannot stand people that steal. Like, I just can't. Like whether it's from people personally or st I just, I can't stand thieves I just can't and so like it made my blood boil because I know what he was doing I know he's gonna take the package you could just tell um so then I had to put a note on my door for UPS I put like dear UPS man please ring my doorbell packages inside someone tried to steal it earlier so I'll just wait for them during the doorbell but this is exactly why I have PO a PO box like it sucks whenever something can't get sent to my PO box because then I gotta worry about shit like this so annoying <laughs> just like ugh. but yeah so that's my uh big drama i'm all out of breath from like speed walking down the street <laughs> and anger like angrily talking i <laughs> just i can't like nothing makes me matter than people that steal shit like nothing like i swear i have a crazy story i still need to record maybe i'll record it this week and record all my other stuff but about this girl my friend brought to a party my friend brought his uh, ex to a party and uh she tried to steal someone's phone or something I don't know it's like a klepto story it's pretty funny but at the same time it's like now we're very crazy about who we let come over because of that but I'll have to share the story it's insane like this girl was insane but it's like people like her I just can't stand I don't know um but that's a pretty funny story I'll have to tell it's funny now it's over and she didn't actually steal what she was trying to steal but at the time, we were like, seriously? So, that'll have to be my klepto crazy story. Ugh, all right. He's watching Jack Hanna. He loves watching animal shows. Yeah, I'm talking about you. We're cutting, I'm taking the razor and you're taking the dogs. That's how we're cutting. <laughs> you couldn't need help. So, he's either to rip this out, rip the padding out. And the little carpet strip. It's going to suck, though, because it's harder to get out of concrete than, like, when we did upstairs. Okay, puppy. So, we want to get them out of here? 
Most people would be like, yeah, I get out of the shit because I'm pregnant. And I just want to hover and still do stuff. <laughs> what? I'm not one of those pregnant women that just enjoys getting out of things. Okay, puppies. I'm going to give them bones. Then I can hover. I can be somewhat helpful and I can stand on the carpet while he rips. We're being safe, I'm using a mask, so is he. The way he's using when we do the carpets and why there's dust in the air and stuff. So far, almost done with the carpet, it pads next. Then while he's pulling those tack strips off from the carpet, I'm gonna shop back the floor so dust doesn't fly everywhere. I feel like this is the most annoying part of doing this. The most annoying part is the um, tacks that hold the carpet down. It's super annoying. You look super sexy doing this though. Especially a minute ago. <laughs> okay, this is the second room we've done where there's old dried blood on the floor. It was on the pad too. It was upstairs too, remember? When we did upstairs? That's like three rooms we've done now that have a dried up crown. Oh, for the crown molding. What the hell happened in here? Somebody like cut their hand? What the fuck? Ugh. I feel like you should probably be wearing safety glasses. Honestly. You should, where are they? You gotta take the crowbar and bang it under these things to pull them off. If we had more than one crowbar, I could help you. But I didn't vacuum the whole floor. That was helping. Like, she get this out of the way. This is the most annoying part is they need to find like a new way to do this without it being so annoying. So basically this weekend, getting this up, laying the new floor, the quarter round down. The only thing we won't get um, will be the uh, transition strips. We're gonna put painter's tape down until I get them because they're the most expensive part and I haven't bought them yet. Especially one that's gonna be this big. That's gonna be like a whole transition strip at least. Hopefully we can find one big enough. Yeah. The concrete ones are the worst. It was easier upstairs when it was in wood. Okay, it's done. It looks so small in here without furniture. Oh, you two nuts. Get <laughs> oh my God. Uh, anyways, it looks a mad hot mess in here now. Good. Ralph, please don't run across that floor like that. Oh my God. I feel like he's gonna hurt himself. Lighting though. Oh, it's like eye makeup. I'm like, what is that? <sighs> it's old eye makeup. Is that better? <laughs> okay. <laughs> These two are. <laughs> I can't even handle what they're doing right now. <laughs> Wow, I don't know how I made the old eye makeup that was stuck on my eyes worse, but I did. Anyways, I'm in the vlog. I gotta get up. I gotta go edit this, and then tomorrow I have to take Amber to the vet. <laughs> this looks so crazy. I don't even know where this came from. Wow. Anyways, I'm gonna go do that, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.